Selamat datang kembali sahabat harmonik yang baik hati. Semoga seperti biasa kita diberikan kelancaran dan keselamatan oleh Sang Maha Kuasa, tetap bisa menjalani rutinitas dan berbagi kebaikan dengan sesama dan semesta. Bukan tanpa alasan, jika seseorang mengidolakan orang lain, dan tentu saja ada alasan di belakangnya, dan ini menjadi faktor penentu yang membuat orang lain menjadi simpati dan bahkan mendukungnya, salah satunya adalah background orang yang diidolakannya. Salah satunya adalah dari sikap orang tersebut dan juga kemampuan apa yang dia miliki dan dibagikan kepada umum, sehingga bisa bermanfaat, menghibur, dan bahkan memberikan nilai lebih. Seperti halnya pada alif bata, didasari dengan kesederhanaan, rendah hati, namun dibaluti dengan skill yang luar biasa, tidak pelak menuai decak kagum dari penikmat musik baik dalam maupun luar negeri, dan bahkan sampai terbentuk komunitas yang solid, ya, Alipa. Dan di video kali ini, kita akan melihat pendapat seseorang dari luar negeri tentang Alip Bata. Ya, banyak dari mereka yang mencari tahu informasi tentang Alip Bata di balik kesuksesannya di dunia YouTube dan menjadi perhatian lebih dari 5 juta subscriber. Baiklah sahabat harmonik yang budiman, mari kita langsung saja simak videonya seperti apa. Seperti biasa link sumber sudah tersedia di bagian deskripsi dan jangan lupa untuk dukung terus Alip Bata dan juga channel ini. Selamat menonton. Today I'm going to share with you what I found out. If you want to know a bit more about Alip Bata's backstory, then check out Zeno's video which I'm linking in the description. Ali Batar does acoustic guitar, fingerstyle covers of popular songs as well as his own compositions. He has gained almost half a billion views in around three years time. How? 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 So why has he become so popular? There are tons of other guitarists doing the same thing on YouTube, right? Not exactly. So watching through a lot of his content, it became very clear very quickly that he is an incredible musician who delivers amazing performances in every single video. But there are plenty of great performers on YouTube and great musicians that don't have 5 million subscribers. What soon struck me and what I absolutely love is that the focus is on the music and the music only. There's no fancy shots from different angles. There's not even a chair. It's just him sitting there playing brilliant music. The only accompaniment he sometimes has is a recorder and a cigarette. Speaking of recorder, I've never actually seen someone playing the recorder while playing guitar. Just how? The recorder aside, it's not just me and Zeno and 5 million YouTubers that are expressing our approval of this guy. Queen's Brian May himself has shared some of Ali's performances on his Facebook, as well as the guitarist Igor Presnyakov. So if it isn't clear already, it's the pure, raw, musical talent that Ali demonstrates in his videos, combined with the simplicity and humbleness of the delivery that just makes him so, so great to watch. Apparently, he's even been approached by famous YouTubers and other musicians about collaborations and sponsorships, but he just turns it all down because he isn't interested in the fame, he isn't interested in the money, he just wants to share his incredible musical talents with the world. That humbleness combined with the incredible musical talent is a very rare thing, which I think makes the whole of Indonesia very, very proud and with good reason. If you haven't already, go and watch Ali Batar's videos, subscribe to his channel, and subscribe to Zeno Makes Music. His channel is absolutely great, and you don't want to miss. Sahabat Harmonik, bagaimana menurut anda semua tentang pendapat Ali Bata dari pria ini? Silahkan beri komentar dan saya ucapkan banyak terima kasih atas kunjungannya. Sampai jumpa di lain waktu.